Good morning, folks. The Iran injury and death toll is still rising from those quakes. The quake watch kept going yesterday with a 6.3 in China. Luckily, it was in a very sparsely populated area. We also had a 4.4 in Italy this morning. Mine are swarming in the area as well. Let's hope the remainder of our quake watch is quiet. Just please do a bit more than hope the weather will be nice. Checking Torcon is very easy and takes about 10 seconds around lunchtime. This is from a few days ago when these dark coronal holes were facing Earth. They put out a moderate solar wind stream that is impacting Earth now. The moderate speed increase acts like a snow plow for slower moving particles and we see the density spikes in the orange before the main faster wind arrives. You can see the yellow, the speed rising at the end. SOHO data shows this spike and rise a bit more exaggerated. NOAA has our two center disk sunspots labeled Beta Gamma, but these are in serious decay. The region down south has maintained its leading spot with positive polarity, but none of the negative spots appear to be surviving. Up north, we have an odd double negative leading spot and a clearly formed positive region behind it, but it's hard to see much interaction or danger here. Earth's magnetic connection to the sun lies atop these departing sunspots. They're moderately dangerous, if only because our connection is there, they will be gone fairly soon. But until then, this region represents where the interplanetary magnetic field connects the Earth to the Sun. Each solar system object has this connection. You can see some here, the black and white lines connecting to the central Sun. They don't show us ones for the outer planets, and that's unfortunate. ISWA has more specific connectivity info. You kind of need to recognize what's on our sun to use this. These two spots are those two that were directly facing Earth, so to the bottom right of those is these same ones down here where the uh, magnetic connection is. And as you can see, the connection is more than just one tether. Having a look at the sun, no major events in the last 24 hours. Having a look at these departing regions, you can see a plasma filament turning over the limb now. Coming in from the other side, we have that massive coronal hole, which could indicate a larger quake is on the way. You can see the backside of that coronal hole extending around the corner into the south pole here on Stereo B. But I also want to show you this complete lack of active regions back here. Now, while the quake watch continues, the flare watch will end early if the current sunspots decay fully and no new ones pop up. That'd be nice, huh? Well, there's the news, folks. Be safe, everyone.